A sense of apprehension surrounded one of the Euroleague's strongest teams, Seska Moscow, during the 2005-06 season. That apprehension that was based on Seska going to the last three Final Fours but failing to reach the championship game, including at home in the Russian capital the previous spring. The team was working professionally from the first moment I was there. Uh, we tried very hard, we achieved to go to three Final Fours consecutive, but we didn't make it, even though we had really good teams. That sense of repeated disappointment just when the EuroLeague trophy seemed within reach prompted Seska to hire a new head coach, Ettore Messina. But after losing its first two games under Messina, and then in mid-season seeing star centre David Anderson go down with a long-term injury, Seska was by no means the favourite when it arrived in Prague for its fourth consecutive Final Four, a new record at the time. We were a very good team, but not the favourites because the three previous years. Another reason Seska was overshadowed was that two-time defending champion Maccabi Tel Aviv was also in town. But first, Seska had to get past FC Barcelona, which it did by rallying from 11 points behind, thanks to 19 points each from one of the greatest point guard duos in basketball history, J.R. Holden and Theo Papaloukas. After three successive semi-final failures, making it over that hurdle was critical for Seska. We managed to find the right way, you know, the chemistry to win the semi-final. Few people knew then, however, that another drama was going on behind the scenes in Prague. Messina's young son had taken seriously ill and the Seska head coach spent most of his time at a hospital with his family and a minimum with his team, preparing for its championship game showdown with Maccabi. We had the issue with coach. Coach had some family issues. So he was there and he was not there. With his son getting better, Messina took the bench for Sunday's classic title game, in which David Vanterpool shot Seska in front after half time. But Maccabi came back to lead midway through the final quarter, before back to back three pointers by Trajan Langdon and Matthias Smardis pointed the way to victory. Thirty-five years had passed since Seska's last European title, but the long wait was over, both for the club and the players, like Papaloukas and Holden, who had come up empty three times in a row before Prague. Of course we were relieved, of course we, had, we were very happy. If you watch again the moments after the final, how we, we celebrate, you understand that one moment, even if you don't, you cannot listen to what we say, but understand that it's like we finally made it. But the most important is that it gave us energy. We understood how good is the feeling winning, and this made us more focused the next seasons to stay together, work very hard, play as a team, to win the title again. <laughs> 